This is Will Powers, Inverse News, Wednesday, April 8th, 5.19 p.m. Yesterday, I received some blowback from people online, particularly at Patrick.net, uh, an internet site for social media, publishing my story on the Jonestown connection to the uh, coronavirus. And I got some pretty heavy blowback, which I'll show you in a minute. But first, uh, to let you know what Jonestown is, in case you don't know, it was an encampment compound in Guyana jungle where Jim Jones, a leader of the People's Temple, a mid-70s cult religion based in San Francisco and Los Angeles, uh, eventually wound up in South America where Jones and his followers committed murder-suicide. My article was based on a book by Michael Myers, uh, Was Jonestown a CIA Medical Experiment? Uh, review of the Evidence, 1989. <clears throat> One of the premises of Myers' book is that Jonestown was not an agricultural uh, experiment gone wrong, but a CIA mind control experiment that concluded with Ryan's death. Uh, as an extra added bonus to the agency, the CIA, contingent that viewed Ryan as a thorn in their side. While Leo Ryan, the congressman, was uh, a congressman, he went after the Central Intelligence Agency by authoring the Hughes-Ryan Amendment, which required the CIA to notify 200 legislators in Congress of any planned paramilitary covert operations. So this was uh, uh, a man they wanted to go after, Leo Ryan, and uh, murder him, no doubt, for that, because that did not make their job easier. And uh, in the uh, jungles of Guyana, when Ly Leo Ryan went there to rescue people who were, uh, reports had it that they were, like, trapped there and uh, against their will. And uh, he went there to investigate personally. He was very brave and he was murdered for his uh, efforts. And I believe the CIA had their hand in that because there was a guy there named Dwyer who accompanied Leo Ryan on the trip and in the, uh, care, uh, the uh, thing that they rode on to and from the uh, uh, encampment. And uh, <clears throat> also Dwyer was there the, that day even though he says he wasn't because you can hear on Jim Jones' tape his final uh, tape uh, before he died there in the encampment. Uh, he's saying that, get Dwyer out of here, he said. So the CIA was there. But on Patrick.com, I want to show you uh, what's going on there in this post here. I said, the true purpose behind the coronavirus uh, lockdown, the protocols, a mind control experiment in which I have a uh, quote from Joseph P. Farrell of Giza Death Star who says this is a beta test for social engineering. Now you can see my video here that uh, I posted. The government is tracking the inflection points. That's a said. quote from In Farrell. The population, they are tracking those that are opposing the narrative, he said. They are going to try something like this further down the line and it will be more serious. But they need to make sure they know where the opposition is. Interesting point. Of course he was going out on the end of uh, his twig of speculation there. And the news media is complicit with the government in spreading propaganda propaganda and covering <clears throat> up for the government and uh, especially the CIA and their brainwashing experiment. I'm not kidding. I'm talking about Jonestown. So anyway, the uh, reaction to this, and uh, it was quite amazing to me, uh, Tito Waki says, are you saying that the intelligence services of different countries are in cahoots to perform a mind control experiment all over the world? Dude, I never said anything about countries colluding with each other to carry out this, uh, in, uh, this thing. You know, the CIA works alone. And they sometimes get information or work with other intelligence services. Generally speaking, they work alone. 
and this is a lone operation I think that they were involved in with the coronavirus. Anyway, he says that uh, <clears throat> whatever, uh, what about MI6 or uh, Spanish CN9? Dude, this is nuts. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. It is nuts, I said. U.S. intelligence services are in the midst of a cold civil war. There uh, is globalist faction aligned against Trump and his ultra-nationalist agenda, agenda. The globalist faction want to protect corporate interests and their factories in China and illegal immigrants as well as legal immigrants to supply them with a cheap labor force. This faction of the deep state hates Trump and uh, <clears throat> is using the coronavirus basically to facilitate an economic collapse to dissuade people from voting for him. If accidental release, then uh, they are using the coronavirus to supply them with an excuse to halt the economy and bring it to a standstill. So, <clears throat> Joe, um, my my uh, uh, thing is that I'm not saying that Jonestown is exactly the same as what we are currently going through with this coronavirus, but the way I see it, they are there are similarities. For instance. Jim Jones encouraged repeating patterns of behavior as a way to condition his flock. He doesn't matter what the behavior is so much as that they obey. And that is what they're looking at with us to see if we obey. And uh, if you're wondering uh, what happened, I mean, I talked to an informed gentleman who has insights into the new news and uh, he told me this is uh, what happened to uh, uh, the, how it got released. You want me to tell you what I thought about the uh, history of this virus? Sure. All right. If you remember about three months back, they caught a Chinese spy at a Canadian bioweapons lab. My thesis is that more than one Chinese spy was caught at this time, both in Canada and or the United States, who knows. In any case, I, I, I would imagine several of these spies were turned using standard control file techniques, such as uh, filming them engaged in acts of pedophilia or just as good, uh, speaking ill of the Communist Party of China and getting this on tape. And then telling them, you know, we can send you back to China and send this material right after you, or you can work for us. I think, I think we know the Chinese government is, they're almost as bad as our own. So, you know, naturally the spies would be terrified to be handed back to the Chinese. So, I think they turned several of them, and they came back with probably several bioweapons of various types. And they may or may not have officially given China the coronavirus is presently ravaging the world. I'm not sure. But in any case, it was, you know, the Chinese have been blaming the United States, and in a way I think they're right. But this is just part of the ongoing, you know, hidden war that's been going on forever. And uh, we released, through these double spies, the virus in China which achieved one of the two main goals of the United States today, the number one goal being to wreck the Chinese economy. And, you know, now it's come back over here. I believe, though, that this entire plan was formulated in late 16, early 17, after Trump's re-election, our election. I was expecting at the time there would be a worldwide economic collapse engineered at this time, and here it is right on schedule. Well, that's all I have time for now. But uh, as you can see, it got here because some Chinese scientists were turned by the United States government to uh, go back to China as double agents and uh, release the uh, virus to destroy the Chinese economy. If they did this uh, thinking it wouldn't come back to to, to, uh, to these shores, then they were sorely mistaken. Anyway, this is Will Power's Inverse News. Thank you for listening.